Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm going to be sharing this week's new releases. These will be going live tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard Time, tomorrow, January 14th, I believe. Um, we still have our St. Patrick's Day $2 Tuesday in the shop, and these will be coming down around like 11:30 a.m so about 30 minutes before new releases i want to go ahead and show these again um so you can see that they match this kit perfectly especially if you plan on using this kit for saint patrick's but the best thing about this kit is i kind of designed it similar to last year in a way where you could use it any week in spring not just for the saint patrick's holiday it's totally up to you but let's go ahead and get started all three kits this week are in gold foil um, I accidentally picked three gold kits because we normally have a couple different kits designed at one time and I try to like mix it up but it just happened on accident this week but that's okay um, we have like I said earlier our st. Patrick's kit our uh, purple kit and a garden theme type kit so let's go ahead and get into our take on a st. Patrick's kit like I said this is super spring with exception well the only thing really making this st. Patrick's to me is like the shamrocks here and kind of how we have some foiled shamrocks in the florals as well um, it sounds like Sadie's coming up here to join us um, but yeah, it's very pink and green. So let me go ahead and show you these full boxes. So we kind of have like an outfit here. This super pretty windowsill with like the butterfly and the bird. We have a horseshoe here. The cool box says create your own luck. We have this super pretty house here. And then some embroidery. Which I just think is like... I don't know, this house is very like cottagey type to me and then I thought that the embroidery would kind of like match the theme. But we have um, like cream and gold and gold green and um, pink. Um, so let's go into the boxes page. The cream is like more on a yellowy tone and then we have a little bit of like a peachy color just because a lot of these I wanted to pull in the peaches from the florals. Um, but let me zoom in a little bit. So I kept the foil details pretty minimal as usual. I just threw in a shamrock here and there. Um, and then of course some of the boxes have some watercolor in the background and they have some florals on them as well. These midi boxes are so adorable. I love them so much. Sorry if I'm a little sniffly. I'm trying to get over <clears throat> whatever my daughter gave me from daycare. Um, then we have our three headers here. Just kept it simple, but a little bit of confetti on the pattern this week, or in this kit. And then, again, the greens and the pinks. I love it so much, especially this, like, green and pink watercolor. And then we have our washi. We went for more of, like, the, like, foiled elements in the florals. And, again, paired it with that green. We have our date covers, the headers, and little scallops, and then some extra boxes here. Um, yeah, so that is the kit. And then, of course, as usual, we have our add-ons. So this is the most popular add-on. It's our Floral Deco add-on. We have it in premium matte and then also transparent matte. A lot of people have been picking up the transparent matte lately, so I'm excited to see what you guys do with that. And then we have our functional add-on as well. Again, here is like that like green and pink watercolor talking about. I love it so much. And then our little swatches down at the bottom. And then let me zoom out so you can see the journaling kit. Again, this also comes on transparent matte and white. I'm just gonna show it to you in white though because it's a little bit easier to see on camera. And I pulled in, the elements are kind of like bigger in this journaling kit just because I didn't want to take away from the detail of them. So you get the windowsill, the horseshoe, and the um, embroidery hoop from the kit. And then these little frame boxes with the torn paper strips. But yeah, that is everything for the luck kit. Like I said, a perfect spring kit, but also our take on St. Patrick's this year. Next, I'm going to show you our... 
purple kit. <laughs> um, I know we have a lot of purple lovers. Let me see if it will focus. Hello. <laughs> but we have our purple lovers. Um, so that's why I say the purple kit. Um, I'm more of like a pink person, which you can probably definitely tell, but I will occasionally do purple. Um, so I've been seeing a lot of purple with rose gold and silver, but I haven't been seeing it much with gold. So I wanted to do this one in gold. Um, but I think I could have totally gotten away with the rose gold, but I think the gold is just a really good pairing with this. Let me put the add-ons to the side. So this one, I'm going to butcher the name, but apparently that's what the name of this flower is that I could find. So it's Mus Muscari. Uh, feel free to correct me in the comments. Um, but we have um, just a whole bunch of different flowers here. So we have the purples and the greens and the blues. We have this really cute outfit here with the foil sandals. A little crystal here with the vase. And in the quote box we have like scattered seeds, memories, bloom forever, which is just so adorable. I love that quote. And then we have kind of like the purse with the vase here and kind of like that um, like macrame hanging in the background. Um, and these are like, these could be journals or towels, honestly. Um, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Um, but I think they're cute either way, um, <laughs> underneath the flowers that is. And then we have the, um, of course the florals with that light wood in the background. I just think this is just such a pretty combo. We have, um, the colors are easier to see on the boxes page. Let me show you that. So we have like a darker purple, a lighter purple, a like blue and a light green. And then of course we pulled in that, um, that wood grain in here as well. So again, kept it simple with the foil elements. And there's mostly just like hearts and bows on here, not anything too crazy. And then here is the layering page, which has your headers here on the side. They do have like the fuzzy foil, um, just like the traced florals. Um, and then of course, the same colors that were in the kit. And we have some layering shapes here, and then these like super mini midi boxes. That's a tongue twister. <laughs> and then this bottom washi is gorgeous. I love this so much. And this is really why I picked gold for this kit instead of rose gold, because I think this gold just looks so amazing on this light green background. We have the double line washi here. Your date covers are in green. And then of course the extra boxes here, the scalloped headers and the little divider slash like mini headers. So that is the main kit. And then of course, as usual, you can pick up the add-ons. So here we have the florals in white and transparent matte. We have the functional add-on all your extra fancy boxes and then we have the journaling add-on again in white and transparent matte and here you get a couple more elements than you did in the look kit because these look better smaller now that I'm looking at it I'm pretty sure they are towels instead of journals but I really think that they could go either way let me know what you think in the comments um, I'll zoom in a little bit. Can you see what I mean right here? They honestly could be either. <laughs> That's going to bother me forever now. Um, but yeah, and this little stamp looks so cute. I wish I made stamps like that. Um, but yeah, that is it for the journaling kit. And last but certainly not least, we have our gardening kit. This is called Tomorrow. The quote says, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. And you kind of have like this double box scene here. Um, we have this sort of window scene, the gardening hat, some bouquets and a little note. Of course, you've got your florals, um, the like a gardening outfit. And then this is really cute, it's like a like flower cart truck thing. 
Uh, I just thought that this was adorable. So of course we had to include that. And we have our boxes page. So here on the boxes page, you can see the colors better. We have a pinky ready color, a green, a blue, and then this sort of like darker tan cream color. Again, the foil elements on this one are super simple. And like I said before, in gold, here is your layering page with your headers again. Again, we have that floral outline, sort of like fuzzy foil. And then of course, your sidebar items, layering pieces, your checklists, and then your mini midi boxes. And then the last page in this kit is the washi. This washi is super pretty. And we did like a pink and green moment here with the pink date covers, your extra boxes here, and again, your headers. Not much difference <laughs> between the format. So I mean, the, it's the same format for all of the kits. So there's not really much to talk about on those pages other than just letting you see what the colors look like. And then we have the add-ons again. So we have the floral add-ons. And then we have the functional, which, there we go, focus. And then we have the journaling. Again, this has a couple more elements. You get your shovel, your, I know that's not a pitchfork, but I also am not sure. I guess it's a hand rake. And then we have watering can, this little basket of florals. This greenhouse, oh, I want a greenhouse so bad. Um, and then we have this wheelbarrow full of florals. And then, of course, as usual, these circles, an oval, an arch, some swashes, strokes, washi strips, frames, and the torn paper. The only thing that really changes in the journaling kits are like this little sort of like L shape. Because sometimes the florals aren't like in this shape. So we'll put other items, and if it's a photo kit, then generally this just gets filled with florals. So it this that's the only thing that really varies kit to kit. This paper will always be here. I mean, not always. I'm not going to say that forever, but for the most part. And then, of course, all the shapes here with the, with the washi. So yeah, that is everything. Um, let me go ahead and lay this back out. Okay, that is everything for this week's new releases. I hope you love this week's kits. I just love the spring vibe, and I really do love how this kit came out. I had a pretty difficult time with it, not going to lie. I spent literal hours on this kit. Um, but yeah, that, just again as a reminder, goes well with this Foiled Tuesday that is still in the shop right now and will be up for at least until 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So yeah, that is it. Let me know in the comments which ones, if any, you're planning on picking up. And I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.